Hello, my name is Ryan Zakos. I'm with Zakos Realty here at Sarasota, Florida. And in today's video, I'm gonna to talk to you about one of the lowest new construction communities in all of Lakewood Ranch. This is Woodleaf Hammock. Woodleaf Hammock is a community that has that features two different builders, DR Horton and MI Homes. And in this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about DR Horton's side, which are townhomes. I'm talking to you about these townhomes because we're talking about one of the lowest prices for new construction that you can purchase in Lakewood Ranch. These start in the mid 400s, they're townhomes. And I love this community for a number of reasons. I guess the features of this community and benefits of this community is one location. The location is right off of Stair Road 64. So you are very good access to I-75. You're in the northwestern part of Lakewood Ranch. So it gives you great access to Tampa, St. Pete, Anna Maria Island, which is a beautiful and wonderful beach. And then like I talked about I-75 and tons of restaurants, shopping and things to do right around that area. So Woodleaf Hammock is also a gated community. The HOA is under $200 a month and there is a pool, there are pickleball courts, there are two dog parks, there's a, a little section for big dogs as well as small dogs. So. Um, it's a wonderful little community and in a great location and at a great price point. A couple of interesting things to talk about regarding this community and being that it's DR Horton is DR Horton actually builds these townhomes with both floors fully block construction homes. So you're not, a lot of builders build homes in this area with the first floor being block, the second floor being wood frame, but in this community, and DR Horton in general builds both floors all block homes. So that's actually a really cool feature and having the storms that could come through this area, it's nice to have that um, assurance that they're built uh, very strong. Um, another thing about this community and that I like about what they're doing with these townhomes is all these townhomes back up to a green space. So whether it's a preserve or a little pond, they, they are laid this community out where when you walk out your back door, it's nice and private and you're not backing up to another unit. That's kind of a cool feature that you get in, in this community as well. This community is in an A-rated school district, so that provides you the peace of mind that your child will be going to a very highly rated school locally. These townhomes start in the mid 1600s. There's two different models and the other one is in the mid 1700s. These models are very similar in that the there are three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms. The three bedrooms are all upstairs and the bottom floor is a wonderful living space with an attached one car garage. You walk into the home, one model the staircase is on the front, another, another model the staircase is in the back, but it is nice and spacious. It's a wonderful floor plan. The only con I see is that some people don't like that all the living, um, all the bedrooms are upstairs. So if, you want, if you're a person that cannot do stairs, this is that's not for you. But if you're looking to maximize the price per square footage, the location, everything else that this community has to offer, this would definitely be something to consider. Unlike a lot of builders in the area, Dio Horton is building inventory homes and they're able to go to contract, if not immediately, then pretty soon after. So the way they're doing that is they are building homes where you do not get design options. They are giving you the lot, the model and all the upgrades and features that come with that home, you're agreeing to it and you're going to contract based off that. So you don't get any choices, but your price is indicative of that as well as the ability to actually go to contract and I have to get into a bidding war and stuff like that. So like I said, you can actually go to contract right now on Woodleaf Hammock for in the mid 400s. It's a wonderful community and a wonderful location. I think it is definitely something to consider, especially with the low HOA, which does include all the amenities that you get in the community, as well as your exterior maintenance of that, of that unit itself, so all the lawn care. So that's a very reasonable HOA. And like I said, the amenities do include a resort style pool, it's gated, dog parks, as well as pickleball courts, and and a nice little outdoor pavilion area that has an outdoor kitchen next to the pool. So if you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to reach out. I look forward to hearing from you soon.